Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Suspect in Daniel Rose murder to face ID parade. The female suspect not in connection to the abduction and murder of eight-year-old Daniel Rowe is to face an identification parade shortly, the police have revealed. The arrest of the woman about a week and a half ago was the first major breakthrough in the case, two months after Daniel's slain. Deputy Commissioner of Police DCP in charge of crime and security Fitzbailey told reporters on Wednesday that she is scheduled to be placed before an ID parade and or before Friday of this week. DCP Bailey said that following her arrest, the woman was remanded into custody by the court for 10 days and several investigative leads were actioned. The investigation continues. There are other lines of inquiries that are being pursued, he stated. DCP Bailey had previously announced that the woman was picked up in the corporate area on Friday, August 11 at about 2.30 p.m. On June 8, Daniel was abducted after leaving Britain Primary School in Portmore, St. Catherine. She was later found on Roswell Avenue in St. Andrew with her throat slashed. She died at the Bustamante Hospital for Children two days after the ordeal. Speaking to reporters on the day of the suspect's arrest, DCP Bailey noted that Daniel's murder which has touched the nerves of Jamaicans, including members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, has been given the highest priority, stressing that every possible angle is being looked at and every lead is being pursued. The Deputy Police Commissioner, at the same time, implores citizens to provide any information they have that they think can further assist with the investigation. Daniel was laid to rest on July 23rd. No space for predators. Police in St. Elizabeth are urging parents and guardians to be vigilant in the protection of their children amid worrying concerns stemming from the alleged burglary of a toddler and rape of a teenager in recent weeks. Head of the St. Elizabeth Police Acting Superintendent College Minto raised alarm from the arrest of a former 26 charged with burglary against a four-year-old relative in relation to a July 2022 incident. The accused made his first court appearance in the St. Elizabeth Parish Court in Santa Cruz on Wednesday and was remanded to reappear on September 11. We have found in a number of cases that the accused in the matters relating to rape are persons who are either relatives or closely related to the victims, and so we are asking parents and guardians, particularly those who have custody and control over their children, to pay attention to any change in the behavior of their children and to ensure that all matters are reported to the police, mental stress. On Wednesday, mental following a series of operations in town center in St. Elizabeth, encourage the public to report cases of abuse against children to the police. We have no space for persons who are preying on our children. These are children. We expect that they should enjoy their childhood life, and so we are asking persons who have information relating to any child who they suspect to be abused to report it to the Black River Criminal Investigations Branch CIB, call 119 or the nearest police station, he said, outside the Black River Courthouse. The police chief added that 14 cases of rape has been reported to the police since the start of the year. This is one more than in 2022, where they had 13 reported cases. The clear of arrest for this year is much better than last year. We have nine matters cleared versus five for 2022, Minta said. He reiterated that warring trend of children being among the victims. Of the 14 cases that have been reported, some of the matters involve children, and so, we want to encourage persons who are victims of sexual offenses to come forward. In this division, we treat matters relating to this very sensitive, but very seriously, stated Minto. He pointed out that detectives are now probing the alleged rape of a teenager. There is another case we are treating with, which occurred earlier this week, where a 14-year-old was raped, and that matter is being investigated now, and the case file is being prepared, he said. We note at that particular time during the summer that the cases of rape tend to be higher than other peers throughout the year. And so we are asking our guardians and parents to pay special attention to our children and to report the matters to the police, added Minto. There was a matter involving a case of buggery of a four-year-old child. That matter went to the Santa Cruz Parish Court. The accused in the matter was remanded until September 11, where the case will again be mentioned. I want to speak generally because we have found in a number of cases that the accused in the matters relating to rape 
are persons that are either relative or closely related to the persons or the victims. And so we are asking parents, we are asking guardians, particularly those who have custody and control over their children, to pay attention to any change in the behavior of their children and to ensure that all matters are reported to the police. This parish, and certainly Jamaica, I'm sure, we have no space for persons who are preying on our children. These are children. We expect that they should enjoy their childhood life. And so we're asking persons who have information relating to any child that they suspect to be abused to report it to the Black River CIB 119 or to the nearest police station. Since the start of this year, we have 14 cases reported of rape. This is one more than 2022, where we had 13 reported cases. The clear up for this year is much better than last year. We have nine matters cleared versus five for 2022. Of the 14 cases that have been reported, some of the matters involve uh, children, minors. And so we want to encourage persons who are victims of sexual offenses to come forward. In this division, we treat with matters relating to this very sensitive but very seriously. And so we're encouraging persons who may have been victims of rape. There's another case we're treating with which occurred earlier this week where a 14-year-old was raped. And that matter is being investigated now and the case file is being prepared. We note at this particular time during the summer that the cases of rape tend to be higher than other periods throughout the year. And so we're asking our guardians, our parents, to pay special attention to our children and to report the matters to the police. Tyrant of the Deep Residents of Kent Village in the Bagua Gorge era of St. Catherine say they are concerned about the lilies that have blanketed a huge section of the recovery, continuing to pose a threat to them and others as it creates a habitat for crocodiles and possibly numerous other dangerous creatures. Reporters visited the gorge on Tuesday, and in sections where the lilies are spread heavily, it is struggled to see the water beneath. According to one resident, the water in that section, which lies between Kent Village and Bagwat Bridge, is so deep that it can cover and hide people and vehicles with ease. What the residents want in the, is for the authorities to be consistent in organizing activities to have the affected areas clean regularly. Clifton Barrett, a resident, recalled an incident in which a man died after his car plunged into the river and was covered by lilies. I remember a vehicle went over there once and you couldn't see the vehicle and it was the same man them from down here and Bogwalk who had to go under there. When a wrecker came, the men went there and hooked it onto the wrecker and drew it out. Barrett said, adding that people in authority deliberately do not want to spend the money to clean it. It is risky to get rid of the lilies. They are playing politics with it. Lily is always in there and when the river comes down, it washes them away. However, when there is no rain for five to six months, the lilies just grow out of control. We cleaned them in the past and got more than 10 truckloads and we carried them away to the dump. We went in the river on a boat or five raft and the water is very deep. Sometimes you have some sand out there that stow you up. They call it quicksand, and you have to be careful, Clifton said. Another male resident shared that he is concerned about the threat the crocodiles pose to fishermen and others who use the river for various purposes. You can't see the water at all. I have seen one big crocodile and five small ones in there. There is a place upstream where they scale and got fish and drop it out in that area. The river has not come down in a little while now to wash away them. So, I know that they're still there, he said. In a short film about lilies that was aired on BBC Earth last year, the narrator described the lily as a monster that is well armed. The film was entitled Tyrant of the Deep, the Green Plant. Reporters sought comment from the National Environment and Planning Authority Nepal on Wednesday about crocodiles and other dangerous creatures possibly living in the lilies. However, experts from the authority could not be reached for feedback on the matter. Thank you.
please remember to subscribe, like, share, and